another uh, special presentation today. And um, Eric here really ha has a really wonderful presentation that he would like to give to Captain Russell Robinson. Captain Russell Robinson. And I, this is this is kind of a surprise. I know that. So uh, <laughs> he's giving you that. Yeah, he is. He he wasn't. Russ wasn't expecting me to uh, point him out this morning. I don't think he didn't know this was on the agenda. But we're talking about you, Russell. London <laughs> Drive. Yeah. You have some gene. Eric has a special presentation that he would like to present to you from his mother. Let him Eric, know about it. you want to talk about it? Yeah. Well, first of all, a uh, little, little story about um, to get into it. Hold the mic up. No, uh, just a little, uh, little history of, about me that led up to this uh, situation here. Um, I'm first generation American. Both my parents came here after the war. My mother lived during German occupied, or occupied uh, Holland, and my dad actually was, uh, he was Hitler youth during, uh, during the war. And a uh, little small thing about him, uh, he was supposed to join an air aircraft battalion on his 13th birthday, but the war ended May 8th, and dad's birthday was May 9th, so he didn't have to go. Of course, he didn't want to have anything to do with it anyway. But I met Captain Russell, uh, 2012, at the D-Day Memorial. Um, the 101st was celebrating their 70th anniversary at that time, so uh, I saw it in the news and I went. It was the first time I went to the D-Day Memorial, and there I met Captain Russell Robinson, and I talked to him for a long time, and, and he gave me some of the exploits and some of the things that he did during World War II, and one of the things that uh, stuck in my mind was the fact that he had dropped supplies to the Dutch people in Holland. He, and I went home called my mom, told my mom about it. And my mom remembers this. She remembers the blankets, she remembers the food, she remembers all of that. And it was a very, very special moment for them because some of the people in the cities, which were worse off than the people in the country, fortunately, mom was a little bit out in the country, so she was a little bit better off, but they needed these supplies. They needed them bad. Uh, the Germans got some, but they got a lot of the stuff that was needed. So after I told my mom about this, my mom, uh, she wrote a small card, a thank you card. It's not a medal, but it's something from the heart. It's something from somebody that was there. It was something from somebody that received what you worked so hard and took so many chances to get to them that they needed. And I'd like to read this card, if it's okay, sure. Captain Russell. My mom starts it out, Dear Russell, and let me get my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> that happened once in a while. Yeah. It said, Dear Russell, I heard from Eric that you were one of the pilots who dropped the food from the plane in Holland. I was just 12 years old when the war ended. I can still see the food falling from the plane, a picture in my mind that will be there forever. It was an awesome sight. As a child, that fluffy white bread tasted like a piece of cake. Also, we'll always remember when the Americans and the Canadians marched through our village when the war ended. I know me and my family will forever be grateful for all you have done for us and still do. I am proud to be an American. I became a citizen in 1953. God bless you, Wilma Kalamaya. Hey. picture also to give you of my mother and this is uh, after she'd been in the United States for a while but she is wearing a Dutch outfit like she wore when she was in there uh, mm. wow well, thank you Eric Eric yesterday when I say thank you at the Red Cross breakfast I mentioned Russell and what he did and dropped some blankets on everything mm -hmm. It's very, for the one who was there, yeah. that's what I said yesterday, and very funny.
Thank you. Thank you, Russ. We appreciate your service. And thank you, Eric. Yep. That's French fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no freedom fries in here. Um, thank you, Eric. That was really great. And, uh, it, it's really an honor to be here with uh, all of these guys. And uh, I appreciate them being members of the group. And I appreciate all of you who are here today uh, being members of the group. And uh, I'm going to ask uh, if anybody has any announcements or anything, Charlie? Yeah, I, I'm not going to take a long time because I know we're running short. But not only did Joe build that plane, he built a plane for my wife because her brother was killed in a B-17 in Italy during the war. He built her a B-17 and it's exactly like his. On the tail, it's got California comet. It's on the tail. He did it all. Joe. Well, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe, for all of the work that you're doing. We, I mean, it's amazing, and we appreciate it. I personally appreciate it. I'm honored to do it. I really am. We've got a great bunch of people we, here. we got to find somebody to be honored to build a UH-1 gunship. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's seen enough of them. He's probably has. Uh, or a Navy radar <laughs> yeah, or, or a Navy plane or something. Yeah, that's time we get a chance. Or the Higgins boat, yeah. Um, do we have, uh, Mr. Werner, you have an announcement? Yeah, I just wanted to follow up on the presentation about the letter from Holland. I day at Yale when I was going through Holland. Her father was the biggest, was the, uh, what you call the caretaker of the largest hotel in Amsterdam. And we went over to Rotterdam and a couple other places. She was telling me how the Gestapo came to the house one night about nine o'clock, shot her father, and raped her mother, and shot her, killed her brother, and the only way they survived was the military of the United States Army was eat out of garbage cans. So we know how fortunate we are at this sometimes. So I rushed into follow up, brought the blankets and the food. Yeah, and we appreciate it. So, um, do we have any other announcements? Uh, I want to remind everybody uh, real quick that uh, we do have some upcoming, uh, the National D-Day Memorial on April 18th, and I'll be sending out information on all of these things, prelude to the evasion. Also, as it, more information develops on the Freedom Fest in Lynchburg, avi Lynchburg uh, Aviation Event, um, I'll send out more information on that. So, Tracy, and, let me say something about Freedom Fest. Yes, sir, Doug. They connected with Jeff Bush, our team member, and they really are looking for veterans. There are no organizations around that are conveying and organizing these World War II veterans, essentially, but us. We can't quite understand.